Hey guys, my name is Lian and welcome to another video. Today, we have a very special video since ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa aking first impressions about the Eton 5V UPS. If hindi ka pa familiar with what a UPS is or how it works, UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply. And what it does is basically kung nagka-brownout ka or nagka-power surge ka for any reason, the UPS redirects your power source from your main outlet to its battery which allows you to have enough time to save your projects and to shut down your PC properly. Which in my opinion is super important especially if you're a student like me. Dahil there are some unforeseen circumstances talaga where you really can't avoid data loss unless you have a UPS. There are some unforeseen circumstances talaga where you really can't avoid data loss unless you have a UPS. I'm going to edit, okay? I'm not going to edit anymore. It's so stressful. <laughs> you know, like the, the few times I edit is when this happens. You didn't save? Why, why would I save? <laughs> That said, let's unbox the Eton 5V UPS. So, the very first thing I noticed is, of course, naka styro siya in order to protect the UPS. And aside from that, mirror din itong quick start guide. The unit itself, upon first inspection, is pretty compact and pretty light, which is perfect na perfect if you don't have that much space on your desktop. On the front of the pinaka unit is ang LED indicator niya, as well as its power switch. And sa likod naman ay ang four universal outlets nito, which is also connected sa pinaka battery niya sa loob ng unit. To install the Eton 5V UPS, super dali lang niya. All you have to do is plug it into your main outlet, and then plug in whatever you want to protect from power surges or outages sa kanyang universal outlets. So in this case, ang pinag ko ay ang PC namin. To turn the UPS on, you have to make sure you charge your UPS for at least 6 to 8 hours, especially if unang gamit mo lang siya. Because if not, of course, hindi gagana ang UPS mo. That said though, once you charge ng yung UPS, pwede na nung gamitin para you on ang mga devices mo without having to rely on your main power outlets and instead by relying on the UPS's battery, which we call a cold start. With that said, let's try testing out the Eton 5V UPS by seeing how it would work in a real life scenario. So, of course, ginagamit ng sister ko ang PC na nakahook up sa ating UPS. So, you know, to really test out the UPS that I'm gonna do, I'm just going to unplug it while she's playing 2K. <laughs> My amazing younger sister. Uh, My amazing younger <laughs> sister. Lexi! I'm bad this game. I'm going to unplug the PC. No. I'm going no, to unplug no, the no, PC. Oh. I'm gonna <coughs> Goodbye, world. Wait. Here's wait, the plug of the UPS. I can get the. Wait. Chink. Ah, I found. Lexi, look. NANI?! <laughs> I had plugged it! The, key, the, the monitor says otherwise. Yeah, because... Shannon, actually. So, you guys, you guys know that it really works. You just have to make sure you charge it first. Because if not, it won't. She's still playing. Ah! How does it feel being part of my UPS experiment? You can't feel that is an experiment because when you're playing, even if they have the cord right in front of your face, you can't even tell anything's happening because nothing happens to your screen or game. You just keep playing. She's too focused to even be bothered. <laughs> okay, thank you for being part of my very short um, experiment on whether the UPS would function as I thought it would. And the answer is yes, it does function as I thought it would. Any other thoughts? Probably don't do that to an artist who doesn't have a UPS. They will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
So before moving on, I just want to tell you guys who are looking into getting the Eton 5 UPS that there are three ratings. So in order for you to choose the rating na kailangan ng devices mo, we have to do a little bit of math. But don't worry, super quick and easy lang po. So yung rating na kunin mo ay nakadepend dapat sa wattage ng device mo. A good rule of thumb though for this is to take just 60% of the VA rating and then compare it to the wattage ng device mo. As long as bigger ang 60% ng VA rating mo as compared to the wattage ng device mo, and that means goods na ang rating na yun for you. Another thing I'd like to mention Ren, is that the Eton 5V UPS also functions as an AVR, or also known as an Automatic Voltage Regulator, which can regulate the electrical current that comes from your outlet in order to protect your devices na rin. That said, Ren, the Eton 5V UPS comes with a warranty of up to 2 years. So at least in that sense, no worries ka naman when it comes to its longevity. And guys, remember lang that the Eton 5V UPS doesn't function as a generator or a power bank. And it really only lasts for around 16 to 20 minutes if connected to a device which consumes around 100 watts. That said though, of course we have to talk about the price of the Eton 5V UPS. The price of the Eton 5V UPS changes depending on the rating na ginagamit mo. For example, ang rating na ginagamit namin ay ang 1,050 VA rating or yung 600 watt rating nila. So, this one would cost you around 4,000 something pesos, I believe. But for those who don't need a super high rating na UPS, Eton also has a 650 VA rating which will cost you around 1,850 pesos. Which for me is super worth it naman, especially for those who experience frequent power outages or power surges. But not only that, it's really good for students as well as people who are working from home or have to handle a lot of important data. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos in the future. And see you all next time. Bye!